Listen, from, 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 from the moment I wake up to the minute that I go to bed at night, music is it's all I think about. Music is my passion. Music is that thing that takes me away to the fantasy, that puts me at a state of ease and at a peace of mind. It, it, it's something that it makes me it makes me feel alive everywhere I go. Can you feel the music? Can you feel the rhythm? Happy Tuesday to all my soul brothers and sisters. Welcome to the next episode on Sterling on Cinemas. That's cinemas with an S. And today I'll be giving you my review on Disney Pixar Soul as part of the Pixar Animation Playlist on Tuesdays. I know I'm a little late, but you know say better late than never. But my purpose and my passion, my passion was to play for y'all. My passion was to play and get these tunes right so that I could get it to y'all at a, the perfect time at a time where you needed to hear it. That was my purpose. So before I begin, if you are new to this video, if you're new to this channel, if you're new to this playlist, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and follow your purpose. Leave a comment on the section below. Most importantly, watch. And if you're not sure what your purpose is, at least follow your passion. If you're on Instagram, don't forget to follow me. Follow me, your passion, because I am some of your passions, therefore be your purpose. And don't forget to comment and share on your story with your friends and family. And most importantly, watch and listen and feel. Let's get, let's begin. So my name is Joe Gardner. I'm a middle school teacher, a middle school band teacher whose life hasn't quite gone the way I expected it. My true passion is jazz. And I'm good, as you can see, as you saw in the opening moments. But when he, when I travel to another realm called the Great Before to help someone else find their passion, I soon discover what it's like to have a soul, what it means to have a soul. So here's my take on the story. I would most definitely say that Soul is a better Pixar film, both conceptually and aesthetically. Like, going into Soul... We knew that it was going to be one of those movies, not just Pixar movies, but movies in general. The type that reminds us that living a life here on Earth is always worth it, whether through thick and thin or the good, bad or ugly. Every millisecond that you get to take the chance to breathe is bliss because it is a blessing. While it is easy to say that there are a lot of countless, countless number of movies like this, that says, well, life on earth is very worth it. No, soul is different. See, as with those other movies simply telling us that life is worth it, soul shows the audience just as it tells. This movie in the Pixar canon, though, really puts its art and its animation to good use by combining the vibrance of the fluid aesthetic of the spirit realm. And known as the great before, the spirit in the realm known as the great before, just as it describes its message through vivid visual representations. For instance, there are two sequences that in the movie that I would like to talk about. The first being the hall of everything. 
Pixar gives us a direct imagery on how people become what they want to be for the rest of their life. And this is discovered by trying different things because you will know if you enjoy something from the bottom of your heart, if you try it. That's why in life, this is always important to try everything, even if you don't even think it would fit you. Like if you think that something is the last thing you'd be connected to, you'll never know. Try it and you'll see. Try it to see how fast you can absorb it like a sponge. The second one, I believe, can be all of our favorites, which is the zone. Like like now, I'm in the zone right now, just like the way you're looking at this with the with the with the very fiery violets in the blue but also even as i sit in front of this camera as we speak as i am smoothly and casually giving my review on a movie like it's one of my favorite things to do i am in the zone as we speak but the zone does not refer to the comfort zone but rather the moment whether whenever an individual is right where they belong in their God-given talent. They are in their own spotlight. This is perfect because what, whenever we are each in our moment, whether that is doing ballet, rapping, acting, playing sports, working out, public speaking, or reviewing movies, these are the places that we go to escape into our own worlds. Aside from the subliminal symbolism, can we just take a moment and appreciate how beautiful the film looks? I do not just mean with the visuals of the great before, but just the emotion that is carried in the earthly scenes on earth. In the, in the attention to detail and the way the black people were animated, which is groundbreaking. If anything, they sure got our hairlines all right because they got the hairlines all well trimmed and they got the close-ups at the barber shops. We're giving off great, great uh, presentation on how well they animated us black folks. Joe Gardner, who is voiced d diligently and accurately by Jamie Foxx, might have the same old aspirations and ambitions as the average Pixar protagonist, but again, he is different. Instead of taking Gardner and writing his character as someone who would constantly pursue a certain passion and overcome every obstacle that stands in his way, he is handled differently as being the sole purpose for trying to help another soul embrace life for what it is, both the wonders and the dangers. It is normal for Pixar to have ambitions and passions, but every desire that every other central Pixar character has is for their benefit to be happy but not for anyone else. What it is, Woody trying to be the best toy he could be for his benefit. Mr. Incredible trying to enjoy the superhero life for his benefit. Remy trying to learn how to cook for his benefit. Merida trying to make her own life for her benefit. No, no, Joe Gardner is put in a different position than everybody else. This is why Gardner stands out as a lead, not just because he's black, although that's groundbreaking for Pixar, but because he was destined to have his life and hopes and dreams put on pause so that he could open someone else's eyes to the possibilities that lie ahead. The second act of the film where we see Joe and soul number 22 switch bodies is not just another one of Pixar's signature antique moments between the buddy dynamics, but to show 22 why life is so worth it. From the joys like pizza, the wind outside, or candy, subway train rides, etc. But to sum it all up, the best things in life are valuable, tangible, and small. Yeah, I said it, small. The best things don't have to be extravagant. They don't have to be grand. They don't have to be exotic. They actually start with the natural things, the organic things. And this is what Joe Gardner failed to see. Although we are all called to fulfill our purpose and we pursue our, as we pursue our passions, it is such a blessing when you live your life to make someone else's better more than just for your benefit. Because your sometimes your benefits, your goals, you know, they can wait. If, if sometimes, like I said, we're all we are all put on this earth to inspire somebody else. We are all called and encouraged to add something to someone else's life that they never thought they'd be able to find. But 
just to make it clear for you, for anybody who's never really got a clear explanation between purpose and passion, the difference between your person, your purpose and your passion is that passion is about emotions, the motivations and what makes us feel good. And purpose is there's reason behind that or the why behind what we do primarily for others. Where passion can be all over the place, wild and exciting and free spirited, passion like the pursuit of happiness. Purpose is more focused, it's more direct, and it has trajectory. The worst thing that could ever happen to either of these characters or anybody in the world is to become lost. Because let's be real, while there are a lot of bright souls in this world, we also have an even amount of lost souls in this world. The movie describes a lost soul as somebody who feels that they have no reason for their existence and that their life is meaningless. There are a lot of people who think like that, that believe that. This can sprout from the discouragement we get from cancel culture, which is, I would say, the majority, the major reason as to why a lot of these people in this generation feel empty and they feel lifeless and they feel like they have a void inside of them because of cancel culture rejecting them or crushing them or putting them down. Or it can come from our everyday personal struggles. But nevertheless, the, this world will always fight to take away our light so that we may fall into the darkness and never find our way out to the point where we become lost. You know, when I was in school, when I was in a senior at my school, one of my teachers once said, shout out to Mr. Shout out to call me Chevy, uh, Mr. Brooks. He, he told me, my teacher told me that the, one of the worst advice, pieces of advice you can give somebody is to follow your passion. Because like I said, passion is for the benefit of you. What the best advice is actually to follow your purpose. Because your purpose is actually for the benefit of somebody else. Like your purpose, like the purpose that everybody was put on this world to do is to actually serve others besides themselves. And to serve things that are bigger than just them. Because life cannot just be about you. Life isn't all self-centered, like the world doesn't revolve around you. You are not the center of the universe. It is actually the opposite of way around. You are just one in seven billion stars that can be serving the other stars right next to you, on your left, on your right, in front of you, and behind you. And now the verdict. Rotten Tomatoes gives Soul a 95% score, as a 95% of those critics recommend Soul. These Disney movies, we know, will continue to bring us valuable lessons about life. And no other film from the Mouse House has pulled this off better than Soul. To reiterate, Soul is conceptually and aesthetically better. A better Pixar movie with the art, the animation, the music, the messages, and the themes about purpose versus passion. So I will give it 8.7 SOs out of 10. You hear that? So that is my review on Soul. Y'all can let me know what y'all think about it in the comments below. And I'll see you guys later with Way Back Wednesday. I may be or maybe not, but you'll see what I have to say about it on my Instagram. So peace out.